Hey everybody! Welcome to another Thursday night at LDRS Creative. So excited to be here and I'm coughing like crazy. <laughs> so, Ayla and I are laughing because of course just before we're about to go live, I start getting a little tickle in my throat. <clears throat> so I'm sorry. Been uh, changing weather here in Michigan and so it's getting like cool and then it's hot and then it's cool and it's hot and my, uh, my system is not enjoying it. Um, anyway, so excited to be back tonight. Um, we've got a lot of people coming in. Yay, so happy to see everybody. Hello to Will. Will says he is here at last. Hi, Will. <laughs> uh, Linnea is with us. Hey, girl. We will have our meeting, I promise you. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Finnegan, hi. Uh, Margie is here, and uh, Catherine is here, and Sheila Fisher, hey, girl. Who else is here? Teresa Jarvis. Cindy Patty, yay! Becca Aiken, uh, Kathy DeRoche, Angel is here, Margie is here. Hi everybody, Sandy Yee, everybody coming in. So excited to see everybody. Margie's here from Kentucky, pretty cool. Oh, and Kathy, you're in Maine, I see. Oh, and Deb, you are in Minnesota, it looks like. I love seeing where everybody lives, like where everybody's coming in from. That's so cool, so much fun. Um, so I'm really, really excited tonight to be able to get to start playing with our new collection. You know, you guys saw that uh, last week I announced it. Is there something, Mr. Hunt? No, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to look at what you're looking at. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was standing over here because he had a question or something. Um, Catherine has come in. Who else is here? Marcy is here from Northern Car California. Pretty cool. Um, Oh, and Janet, I'm sorry, I, I just see the names coming and I'm all excited. Uh, it looks like Becca is here too, so everybody, so, so uh, happy to see you guys. But anyway, I get to start playing with this new collection. I'm so excited. As I mentioned, here in Michigan, we're already changing weather. We've got, you know, the trees are changing colors. Alan and I were in the car just yesterday and we had the, um, what is it called? The, the sunroof was open and lo and behold, leaves were falling in and on me. <laughs> That's what happens here. We lose leaves in Michigan, but it's just, it's pretty cool. I love the change of seasons. Um, it's one of my favorite things about, about Michigan is that the landscape and just continues to change and change and change uh, throughout the year. And I love it. I was born here and I absolutely love all four of the seasons. One of them in particular, I could stand to be a little bit shorter, but I would miss it if it were gone. <laughs> that, that one would be winter. <laughs> I but I do, no, Alan wouldn't miss it, but I do love the snow. I love the first snowfall and I would love to have winter for maybe three to four weeks and then start easing into spring, but I would definitely miss it if we didn't have it. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to start playing with fall. So we're going to start with fall, then we're going to move into Halloween and then we're going to go head on into Christmas. But tonight is going to be the start of our um, my fall crafting, so I'm excited about it. We're going to go ahead and switch the camera and we're going to get started. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to make three cards today. It's all about kind of mass production, if you will, and I want to show you how you can make kind of the same card over and over and over again. Um, you can do it quickly, but you can make them look a little bit different so they don't all look identical, but it's still mass producing kind of the same card. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So let's go ahead and switch the camera and we'll get going. We're going to two. We're going to two. There. Okay. Let me get my glasses so I can see what we're doing. <coughs> So as you can see, this is my well-loved set of the Hello Sunshine stamps, dies, and stencil. Um, I love these sets when we do them. I think this is like our third one, maybe our fourth one. Absolutely love these because um, you know you get to stamp and color however you like, um, but it's really easy stamping, and I'll go over that in a moment. Um, and then you can die cut everything, and you get shadow dies and everything. But again, it's really easy die cutting. I'll go over that in a moment. And then of course, super easy layered stenciling um, that can achieve different, two different types of you know, looks, if you will. Um, so let me go through these really quickly for those of you that haven't seen these. Um, Hello Sunshine is the name of the game here and we've got four stamps in this set. Uh, the largest stamp actually stamps one, two, three, four, five, six different images all at once. So you stamp once, you get all of your florals, all of your foliage, um, and you don't have to stamp it over and over again, which is really cool. And um, then you also have three sentiments <coughs> that all revolve around uh, 
kind of around sunshine. So we have You Are the Sunshine of My Life, Wishing You a Sunny Day, and Hello Sunshine. You can see that this one is my set. That's why it looks so so dark, so black, because I've already been stamping with it. Um, I always label mine on the back, so this one says LDRS. Uh, that way we know, I know when I look at it, that it's my set, that I, it's my working set. Let's put it that way. But on the back of our stamps, we always show you what everything looks like when it's colored up to um, not only give you a really good clear image of what you're getting, but also gives you a really you know, great suggestion or inspiration as to how you can color them up. Um, I decided to play with this and not go with that, um, uh, the sunflower look, and we're gonna be doing some different colors with it. Um, then the dies, uh, coordinating dies, you know, you stamp the stamp and it stamps everything. Well, the cool thing is the die cuts everything. So it's one die in here, aside from the sentiments, of course, but for the flowers, it's one die but it cuts all of those floral pieces into separate pieces. And so you get separate pieces like these, all right? It just cuts them all out so you can move them around and place them and arrange them however you want. Um, and then we have a die in there for each of the sentiments plus a shadow, because I love shadowing my sentiments. Love it, love it, love it. It's either, you can use it for shadowing, you can also cut that multiple times for stacking them, and it's just lots of fun. And then, of course, we have the layering stencils. The cool thing about these stencils is you can use them to color your stamps, which is what I'm gonna be doing today, but you can also use them on their own, and it'll give you a beautiful no-line coloring look um, so you don't actually have the stamp lines, but it'll give you all of those beautiful florals. We show it on the back here where you don't see the stamped image first. You're going to layer them up one, two, three, four. I'll go through that in more detail when I actually start stenciling. Um, <clears throat> but whether you stamp your, your florals or whether you stencil your florals or a combination thereof, your dies are going to work with them. So that is really, really cool. It's, it's always going to fit your images. Um, as always, true to form, I love grabbing, you know, other things from my stash. One of my go-tos is the A2 Stitch Layered Card Toppers. So I pulled these in and I used one of these. Um, I also, uh-oh, where is it, Mr. Hunt? Oh, I didn't take it. Where is it? I think it's in this stack over here. Can, oh, it's right here. Can you help me out here? I don't know. Help, help, help. What do you need? I need these. <laughs> <coughs> I also decided that I wanted to do a coordinating envelope with it. So I'm gonna be working with the new A2 envelope dies and I wanted to line it, so I grabbed the liner dies. These are both brand new in this beautiful collection. And I thought it would be fun to grab some of our fall papers and this one, um, do we have a lot of these in stock? I'm not sure if we have a lot of these or just a handful or not. I don't remember. Um, but um, this is one of my favorite fall, um, fall sets that we ever did. It's called Song, Songbird Fields. It's actually a set that you can use all throughout the year. It's not really just fall, but it does have a lot of fall colors in it, so I thought that it would be absolutely beautiful and perfect. And so I chose one of the papers out of here, and then I actually decided to pull those colors in, and that's how I decided what colors I was going to use for the, um, the, the flowers that are going to be in my card. And then I also looked at my enamel dots and lo and behold, my one fine day enamel dots have a lot of the same colors that are in the songbird fields. So we're gonna pop some of those on our card. And um, I love these, they're so versatile. Um, I, 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 I never thought that I'd be able to use these for fall because they're, they, our, our one fine day is really great. That whole collection is really great for like spring and summer. But a lot of these colors just work with this. They're just so pretty. So I thought I would pull those in and use those as well. All right, so that's everything I'm going to be working with, and um, I'm going to get my little bag of goodies here to show you what I've done, what I have started. Uh, let's see, this is my little bag of tricks, and it says number one, because I have two bags. <laughs> so we're going to get started on this and see where we land. Now, I've done some of the work already, a lot of it actually, because I didn't want you guys to be here that long. Uh, of course, that's not true. I would love for you guys to sit here for an hour and a half or two hours with me. My husband would probably kill me <laughs> if I didn't do some of the work ahead of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So it's really for him that I do some of the work. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what we have. I don't know exactly where we're going to land with this, but my plan is to do three cards 
So I have three white card bases. All right, these started out as um, a full eight and a half by 11 sheet. I cut it at four and a quarter, scored it at five and a half so that they're, you know, top folding. So I have three of those in white, and this is my Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. So it's that nice heavy weight that I love. Um, in case I decide to go with colored cardstock, I grabbed a coordinating orange and I cut it the same as the white. And then I also grabbed this beautiful kind of aqua color and um, did that the same as well. So these, this was just, just an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So I have two of these card, uh, card bases as well if I decide to go with color. Then I grabbed <clears throat> three more pieces of A2 um, Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And this is where I grabbed my layered card toppers. And I used the center die here. Um, the largest one is going to be A2 size. It's going to cut out that edge and it's going to have that beautiful stitching. And then we have two more nested dies in here. I went with the second one. And so this is actually, and I did it with all three of them, cut toppers in that size for all three. Um, and you can see how that is going to fit and it's going to have just a nice pretty kind of, you know, frame of the beautiful cardstock underneath it. So I have three of these. This is where I'm going to do the arrangements of my flowers. So as you can see, really easy so far. Cut yourself some card bases, cut yourself some toppers. Really easy to do at this point. <clears throat> and then <coughs> I went ahead and started stamping. So I've already done some of the work here. All right, so I went ahead and I thought, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this three times because I have three sentiments. So just on an A2 piece of cardstock, I went ahead and I stamped the flowers three times. I d stamped them in my, where is it? Dun, 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 dun. In my uh, Raven hybrid ink. Now, here's something I will tell you, for those of you that may not already know this. If you're going to use the same ink for stamping that you're going to use for your stenciling, it's the exact same type of ink. Chances are, if you stamp it first and then you go to stencil because it's the same ink, same type of ink, when you stencil, it's going to reactivate what you just stamped and then you're going to smear whatever you stamped in. So if I stamp it in black and then I use the same type of ink to do my stenciling, it's going to smear black all over. All right. That's going to happen with almost all of your inks. Any type of ink that you have, more than likely they're going to reactivate each other. Um, you know, there might be some out there that don't do it. I have not, not experienced any, um, <clears throat> but um, you know, nothing that I can stencil with and blend with. Um, so in order to protect against that, <coughs> I stamped it in my Raven Hybrid ink, and then I used a clear embossing powder. And I went ahead, Alan, will you come into camera three? Sure. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I went ahead and I embossed it with a clear embossing powder. I can feel the texture, I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, but that sets that ink, and also gives me a little bit of a raised, you know, texture, which I think is really pretty. So I went ahead with three cards, A2 size, I stamped my flowers, I went ahead again with, um, with the embossing powder, clear embossing powder and embossed it. And then I stamped one of the sentiments and embossed that as well. Then the next one I did the flowers again, chose a different sentiment, and then the third one I chose the third sentiment. So um, something I'll tell you too if you haven't noticed, with your hybrid inks, I said I embossed with them. Yes I did, absolutely embossed with them. This is a combination ink, and so it has an extended dry time. And so if you hit that with your embossing powder kind of quickly, I mean, I, don't, don't let it sit for a long time, but if you're, you know, stamp it, take it out of your, you know, stamping machine, grab your embossing powder and sprinkle that over the top of it and go ahead. You can emboss with any of the colors. So any color that you stamp in, if you use a clear embossing powder, that color is going to come through which is really, really nice. It's another one of the benefits to our hybrid inks. You can stamp on all different types of surfaces. You can, um, you can color blend with them like you're going to see, you know, with the stenciling. You can also emboss with them, which is really cool. So I have gone ahead already and I stenciled, <coughs> excuse me, 
two of my cards already and went ahead and die cut them. Um, I'm going to show you now with thir the third one here exactly what I did. It's really easy and it's fun. So we're going to grab these stencils and I'm going to take you through the stencils just a little bit here real quick. Our stencils, if you notice, they will say alignment guides right there, see? And we explained it on the back what the alignment guides are, but I'm going to show you up close in case you're not familiar with it. If I go ahead and angle this, this is stencil 1A, so all of our stencils are going to be numbered. Some of them are alphanumeric like this one, all right? And you can see all the little cuts that are in there, all the holes, if you will, where your color is going to go through. That's the very first stencil. When you get to the second stencil, and so the first one does not have alignment guides. And by the way, it looks dirty because this is the one I've been stenciling with. So when you look at your at subsequent stencils, when I catch the light with this one, all right, this one says 1B. Whoops, up here, 1B. You can see that some of, the, some of those are cut through, but some of them are just etched. Those etchings are your alignment guides. And those etchings are going to line up with what you have already stenciled on stencil and, and the previous stencil. All right? That's how you line it up. So when I line these up together, all right, you can see, all right, now you can't see through it at all because everything lines up perfectly, right? All the edges are perfect. It looks great. The cool thing about this is that I don't have little, you know, tick marks up here that I need to stencil to line up with. Um, I don't have to put this in the bottom corner, right corner, left corner, or whatever it is in order to line things up. Um, I line up with whatever is on my stencil with those etchings. So no matter where I start to stencil, if it's on a card or if it's on a scrapbook page or anything, you're always going to be able to line up perfectly with your next stencils without having to worry about where you have started stenciling. So it's really, really cool. Makes it easy for aligning. Okay, so <coughs> I've gone ahead and I've stamped, I've embossed. I'm gonna take stencil 1A and I'm gonna lay this over the top. Now one thing I am gonna do really quickly, just to make sure I don't move things, I'm gonna go ahead and just tape down my image right on my glass mat just so that it's not shifting. It's not going to shift as I work or as I take my hands off of things. So I've already gone ahead and I did some stenciling with some purple, with some orange, and with some blues and a combination thereof. Here's some purple and some blue. Um, and I thought, wouldn't it be pretty to have some pink in there? Um, we do have, you know, pink in the paper. <coughs> so I thought, well, let's grab a pink and see what we end up with. So I chose... Tickled pink, my favorite pink. Might be a little dark for this, I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. So I've got tickled pink and I've got my brush here, right? <coughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just very gently, let me get, please excuse the way this looks, but I wanna have my, this is, this is what I use to get all of my excess ink. So I'm gonna do, let me line this up, there we go. So this is stencil 1A. I'm very gently going to do a light, soft pink. All right, I don't want to go really dark with that. Very gently. And I'm going really light because I don't want to have to use two different pinks. I just want to use one. And the stencil is going to stencil like every other petal. All right. So there we go. There's my light pink. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. Just a little bit of water. Set that aside. Uh, where'd my stencils go? Oh, where'd I put them? They're underneath here. <laughs> All right, so this is stencil 1B. I'm going to put this down now. Line that up. So now you can see it's covering up. I'm lining up with my little alignment guides. I see them. Those are going over what I've already stenciled in pink. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to get a little more ink and I'm going to go darker this time. And I'm going to do it on every other petal, the remaining petals. Doot. 
do do to do to do do to do to do to do do to do to do to do let's lift that up looks pretty look how cute that is doesn't take long I'm gonna go ahead and put my pink away now clean off my stencil all right set that aside I like to get the excess ink off of there. <coughs> now we're going to go, so that's stencil one and stencil two, and that does our flowers. Now I'm going to do the leaves. So I have stencil, actually it was stencil 1A and 1B. Now I have stencil 2A. And we're going to kind of play and have a little bit of fun with these colors. I'm thinking, actually, you know what? I'm going to continue with pink in the center of these two flowers. So I have my pink brush and I'm going to do light pink in the large center. You're going to see me do like multiple colors on this one stencil. So there's my pink. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to do some couple of different colors of the leaves. Um, you know what I think I might do? I think I'm going to get maybe a little bit these are the centers of the other flowers. You know what, I'm just gonna do those pink. So I'm gonna need a little more, where's my pink ink? I'm gonna need a little more pink ink. Just get at the very tippy top of my stencil, just to get a little bit of color in the center of these flowers up here. There you go. Brush that off. And I always put my ink away because if I don't, I will dip into that one by accident yeah well no I'll just I'll just dip into it when I shouldn't I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess pink on here so that I don't pull it in when I go to do the leaves just dry that off a little bit okay lay that on there again there we go uh, so for my colors for my leaves I am going to do a couple of different things here. I'm going to start off with, do some of them in olive branch. Push off a little bit. I'm going to do some in olive branch. There we go. And I'm just going to go light. And I think I'm going to do this one over here. And I'm going to do this one here. Just a little bit of green. <coughs> Move that one aside. And then I'm going to do the others in Tropical Sea. And I chose Tropical Sea because it's one of the colors that is in the paper. And I thought it would be pretty on some of the leaves. So let me get these other leaves here. Alan's over here watching me. That's interesting. <laughs> blue leaves. Yeah, they're kind of blue green. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? Why not? What is my favorite tree? I don't have an answer for that. What is my favorite tree? Blue spruce. Blue spruce. What color is it? Green. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be green. It's a tree. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. The blue spruce is blue. It's like a dusty blue. I, I love it. It's my favorite. So yes, I love blue in nature. So now I'm going to go ahead with stencil numero, alpha numero, 2B, <laughs> or not 2B. Ha, 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 that is the question, right? Okay, let me line these up in the centers here. So I have to get the centers of the pink there, and I'm going to get those with the, <coughs> excuse me, slightly darker pink. Actually, same pink, I'm just going to go darker with it. So get that right in the, in the edge. Now, I could have done these centers a different color entirely, but I didn't. I didn't want to. But I am going to wipe that excess off of there so I don't end up getting it anywhere else. 
done with pink. Put my brush away. Let me get the blue here, the blue green. This is Tropical Sea. Get those. It's okay if it's uneven. Some of some of them can have, you know, I, I don't worry about you know how much I actually get in there. If some of them end up with some of the little shadows and some of them don't, that's okay. And now I'm back to olive branch. Get that in there. And then on these here. All right. There we go. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, I have, I gotta make sure I don't get these colors everywhere. Let me wipe this off. There we go. And then let me clean this off. And then my blue. <clears throat> and then I'm done stenciling. Isn't that pretty? And easy. This is why it's so great to mass produce. Oops, I shouldn't have taped those together. I'm going to need those. This is why it's so easy to mass produce. Um, we need that die cutting machine right there, my love. Yeah. We need it, or I need it, or you need it. Sure. <laughs> All of the above. Yeah, Define we. We, we, meaning you, me, and everybody here who's watching. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get this die lined up and show you how easy this is. So there's that one. And then I need the You Are the Sunshine of My Life die as well. And that goes that way. So let's go ahead and get this lined up here. Looks good. Looks good. I need one more little piece of tape. And we're going to line up this die on the sentiment here. Looks good. There we go. All right, Mr. Hunt. Let Alan take this. And while he does that, I am going to do a little bit of clean up because I have a big mess in front of me. And I want to see what I'm doing. All my inks put away. Okay. <coughs> All right. Perfect timing. Let's get that one off of there. Look how easy they come out of the dies. They'd all pop right out of there probably if I didn't have them taped. Well, not all of them, but they, they'd do pretty well. There we go. All right. Let's get that off of there. Pop these out. All right. And let's see what we've got. So here's that die. One die and cuts them all into little individual floral pieces. It's so beautiful. I love this set. And um, one of my favorite things about it, to be honest with you, is that you can use this for all kinds of different flowers all year long. I think it's so pretty. It's just a happy set. The sentiments are happy. Everything's really happy about it. All right, let's go ahead and get some of these little pieces out of here that didn't fall out on their own because they're little. Let's get those little guys out of there. There we go. So here we are. Do, 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 do. All right, where did all those little bits go? Let's get my tray over here and see what we've got. So here, we're going to add all these in here so we can see what colors we have. Look how pretty. <coughs> Pop that in there. All my little leafy things. There you go. So now we have all kinds of stuff to start playing with. So let's go ahead. One of the things that I want to do, I thought about this before, we went live is I'm I've decided I here's what I did I went ahead with my shadows 
because I didn't know if I was going to use black or white shadows. So I cut one shadow for each of the words in black and then one in white. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be pretty if I layered those up and actually had like a shadow of a shadow? <laughs> so I'm going to do them like that. I'm actually going to layer them like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly with each of them. Start layering these up. So that my shadows are ready to go. Get my sentiments all ready to go. Uh, let me put this on here. I don't want too much of that showing, just a little bit. Just a little sneaky peek. But I want it even all around the bottom, across the edge, as even as I possibly can. Nothing's perfect, right? All right. Let's see, this one goes with this. Isn't that kind of cool? It looks like a little, doesn't it look like, like a thought bubble? <laughs> I think they're kind of cool. Okay. There's this one. They almost look like little clouds. These could probably be used as clouds now that I think about it. Especially this one. Couldn't that be kind of a cute cloud in the sky? <laughs> Just saying. It's just another idea, another way of using something. All right. So here, oh, wait a minute. Which way does this one go? I've got to know which way is the top. Okay. Um, it goes this way. So this is the bottom here. Don't want it to be backwards. Just a little bit of the black. There we go. Little shadow. Okay, and then this one is going to go right over the top. So I do want to put a little bit of foam on each of these to pop that up and separate the sentiment from the shadow. This one, I really gave that a deeper shadow, didn't I? Well, that's all right. Not in love with that one, but it is what it is, right? If I were to remove it, I'd probably tear it, so I don't want to ruin it. So sometimes you just gotta roll with it, baby. I think there's a song in there somewhere. Is that a song? Roll with it, baby? I think it is. <laughs> I think so. Am I right? I uh, think so. Okay, let me get that little piece. There we go. Is that gonna work? Let's just go like this. Kind of on an angle. That worked. And then on this one, and then I need a little piece for that one. Just to give that support where it needs it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these layered up. That looks pretty. I'll tell you, this is always just so relaxing. This is the part that I really love. I'm not, you know, I know I, I always hear like some people just love doing all the die cutting and that that's not me. I love all of the assembly of everything. There we go. Look how pretty that sentiment looks. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. I like the stenciling too. I think that's really fun. That's very relaxing. You don't really have to think about it. I might even be able to do the stenciling. You might be able to do the stenciling? <laughs> I might be able that to sounds like a challenge to me. It probably look pretty ugly, but I could. And you cannot mess up the stenciling, honey. I'm sure you could do great with it. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. She says the double shadow looks good. Thank you. Stephanie Sharples is here. Love the sentiments. They look great. Stephanie. Do I have this? Oh, no. I did this one upside down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rut row. Rut row, Rorge. All right, we're going to redo that. I did have it upside down. Wow, it's not tearing the paper. How in the world did that happen? I mean, I know how it happened, but how is it not tearing the paper? I got, I got lucky with that. 
incredibly lucky. There we go. I had that upside down. Oopsie daisy. Try and get these centered on here. Have somewhat even spacing everywhere. There we go. Yay! It worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> All right, let's see where we are now. Um, let's go ahead and go out to camera two, Alan, <coughs> so we can see more than just these sentiments here. All right, so we have all my little flowers here. I'm going to do these toppers first, and this is where I'm saying, you know, we're going to create three cards. We're going to do these kind of quickly, and um, we're going to pop some of these up on foam, and we're going to do these, we're going to arrange them all kind of the same, but we're going to use different colors. Um, let's just kind of mix up these colors a little bit. Can you do one with three little Purple ones? over here. I could, I, I, but I don't want to. I kind of want to mix, I want to do them all the same so that we're mass producing. But um, I just want to get all the different colors in. Mix them all in here. And we'll see what arrangement we come up with in just a moment. This one, this one doesn't have any blue, so we want to get some blue. I want to get some blue in that one. We'll put this little pink one here. Maybe get some more blue in that one. Uh, okay, we'll see how this comes together. And then I have leaves. I don't have to use everything, so maybe I don't use them all. <coughs> but I'm going to come up with a little arrangement here that uh, that works. Maybe it works. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Um, maybe put this one here. And put this little pink up here. There's my little leaves. I don't know if I'm going to use the leaves. Let's see. I might put a leaf over here. Is that turning out to be too much? That might be too much. Let me cover up that leaf there. Put that leaf here. I don't like that flower sticking straight up. It go like this and like that maybe. I think something like that can work. Okay, I'm going to start putting some foam behind these. And I'll start laying them down and figuring out where they're going to go. So we'll start with one and see where we land. <clears throat> I don't want to make it too busy because then it just looks busy. And I got you know you got to remember I can also take other um, I can also use um, whatever is left over on other cards too. So I'm just going to put this behind the flowers. I'm only I'm not putting it behind the leafy parts because I want to have the dimension up on the flowers. All right, so let's start here. Where's my glue? And once I get this arrangement figured out, then I can just easily apply it to all of them. Where do I want to put a sentiment? I'm going to put the sentiment like in the middle here. Okay. So I'm going to have this go a little bit on the angle. And then this one, put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom por portion of it. that. So the bottom part is flat because I'm going to put the sentiment over it. This is where I think I wanted to put 
one of these blue leaves. I think that's just going to kind of take the place of the leaf that's there because I have that green there and I don't want it. I want to get blue in that area. I'm just trying to balance the color a little bit. So I'm going to go right over that one. Okay. And then I'm going to put that in there. I don't think I'm going to use that other little pink flower. right over the tip of it there. Let's see. Do I need that one? Let's see. I might leave that there. Let's see where we end up. And then this will go like right here. I think it's pretty. I kind of want, now that I think about it, I'm going to move this one over. Let me pop that up. because I don't have to have that go straight into, this is going to go here, so I can actually have this over here. That's going to give me a little more balance, I think. In terms of color. Struggling. This is what I do. Once I get it figured out, It'll work. Can I get this piece out of here now? Let me pop this here instead. There. And then that'll go there. And I do think I like this one here, but I don't know if I want that color. Let me bring that blue up here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I think I got it down. I think it was too busy with that other leafy piece in there. Just too much. Sometimes, you know, it's like trying too hard. You're trying to put too many pieces in there. Let's sneak that down in there. Like that. And then this is going to go right here. So we're going to give that... Where's my adhesive gun. There we go. Make sure it's straight. It's covering up all those little ends. Look how pretty! I like that. So that is one card topper. So now that I have my arrangement, I don't even need to have, let me get that excess glue off of there. Let me get rid of the pieces I don't need. I'm not even going to be using these little leafy pieces. So I can use these pieces to make another card. I could do some more and make like a, I can make a pretty wreath with those actually. That would be really nice. So I'm going to move on to my next one. And I'm just going to use the pieces that I used on the first one. So I'm duplicating it, but it's not going to be identical because it's going to be a different color combination. Does that fit? Eh, maybe a little large. Let's go here. <coughs> like that. And then I need, what is this one? Let me get it on the backs of all of these. That one already has it, so we're good there. I need it on these two. And then I'll have to put it on the other card too. all these little pieces. Is that too much? No, it's too big. All right, let me get another one. I'm trying to use all my little scraps, but I think some of my scraps are too big. just need I think one more little piece here and then I always put all my little scraps on there so I have them for next time 
So let's go ahead with our color combinations and see how we do. Make sure I'm mixing up my colors nicely. Purple over here, so this one's going over here. This will have the pink. And this one needs some pink. This one will have some blue. And we'll put blue up here and then pink up here. All right. So let's go ahead and get these together. Just make adhesive. So again, mass producing. Once you get the first layout, I like doing like multiple colors. I could have sat and stenciled a whole bunch of these things. And uh, let me make sure I get the height right. I could have stenciled a whole bunch of these in a whole, you know, ton of different color combinations so that I would have a lot of options to really mix and match these things around and create all varying cards. I could have done, you know, like I chose to go actually with kind of more springy colors. Um, but I could have gone deeper with fall colors if I wanted. Um, some beautiful burgundies and or emerald greens, plum. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> Since I was doing fall cards now that I think about it, but I did say I was doing fall cards and I'm just realizing right now that I kind of did lighter, more pastel colors. Oopsie daisy. My mistake. Those colors in the yard right now. You are correct. We do have these colors in the yard right now. Yet. Alan's trying to make me feel better. That is his job as my husband, right? <laughs> That's my <laughs> number one priority. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look how cute. I love these. I think they're so pretty. I seriously love them. There we go. Next one. Isn't this just relaxing? I mean, this is one of those things, like I said, you can just sit and do this watching TV. Speaking of TV, oh my goodness. My husband <laughs> has decided for some reason, what is the show you're watching? Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke, from beginning to end. Do you have any idea how many seasons there are of Gunsmoke? <laughs> oh. It's when men were men. Is that when men were men? And they weren't very smart. So it's been that long? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> it is hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, sometimes I leave the room just for like a moment and I come back and he's changed the channel and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was gone for 30 seconds. What are you doing to me? Look, everybody loves Killing gun me. smoke. No, not everybody loves gun smoke. They do. I, for one, do not. Am I not a part of everybody? Let's take a poll. Who doesn't love gun smoke? <laughs> Who doesn't love gun smoke? It's all about honor. <laughs> Is that what it's about? Yeah. I thought it was about bad acting and... Well... I don't know. That's just uh... <laughs> really bad storylines, and <laughs> isn't that the, the the whole gist of that show? I Stephanie don't know. Stephanie Sharples was bonanza needs to be next. All right, <laughs> now I get my next one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to figure out which one of these, how we're going to mix these up, what colors they're going to go on. It's the old gun smoke. You know, I like them on the different colors. Or should I do one on white, like that? Let's do one on white, white on white. So we'll have a few different colors. You know, I just think it kind of shows you the versatility. <coughs> so again, we've got to give these some, uh, some depth. So I'm going to do some more of my foam. It's going to go on the back here, each of these. There's one. What? Well, you only What's have, so funny? You only have one nay. One nay? <laughs> nay. 
What, so you're telling me everybody loves Gunsmoke? Yes, everybody loves Gunsmoke. Oh my gosh. The only thing I like about Gunsmoke is that Toby Keith mentioned Miss Kitty in a song. And you just figured <laughs> it out. I had no idea who he was talking about. It, the song is Should Have Been a Cowboy, and I had no idea who Miss Kitty was. Didn't know what he was watching, but figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> when you put that on I went oh all right so he's got bad taste in television too <laughs> my apologies to all of you who like gun smoke I just can't get into it I frankly do not enjoy any western or western wannabe I didn't either but the characters just suck you in. They suck. What'd you say? They suck? They suck you in. Oh, they suck you in. Okay. I See, I thought for sure you meant the other. <laughs> Especially Festus. Festus. That makes me think of Fester. Okay. You're so funny. Yeah, so he puts that on and then... When he leaves the room, I put West Wing on. <laughs> very, very different television shows. <laughs> However, on both of those, we're trying to figure out what they're saying, right? And one of them, they're talking just so fast and almost over my head. And the other one, I'm just trying to figure out what it is they actually trying, said. Trying to decode the... Uh, trying to decode... The southern accent. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, aren't these so pretty? I love them. This came out good. Thank you. And then, you know, I can pop some of these little things in here, these thingamajigs. I'm going to do a couple of the smaller ones. Like, put one up here, maybe, if it's going to stick. There we go. And then, get a pretty blue one. Maybe... What was that? There we go. Your stomach? And a pretty pink one. My wife hasn't fed me yet. Your wife hasn't fed you yet? Yes. There we go. How's that? A couple of pretty little dots on there. Let's put one over here. Pretty pink one. I like the little, little, little ones. Blue and then a purple over here. There we go. Yay! Don't they? They just kind of give you a little something something. Now this one I don't have any orange, so I do not think the orange is going to work on that one. So let's put a purple one over here. You're running out of little tiny ones. I am running out of little tiny ones. Oh. Oops, what did I do? Did I just Drop. drop it? Oh, I dropped it. Um, here's a blue one. Purple blue. I'm going to put this blue one over here. I need a little pink one. Hmm. <laughs> I want a little pink one. Do I have any more over there? No, I could just put one of the larger ones here. It'll be fine. It works. Okay. Good. Yeah, I think so. Right. Aren't those pretty? I love enamel dots. I'm a nut over enamel dots. I think they're so cool. I love them, love them, love them. Just a little bit of texture, a little bit of bling bling. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Mass produced, three cards, one, two, three. Love them. All right, so we've got one more thing to do, because remember I said I had bag number one. I also got bag number two. Bag number two, and this is to show you how the liner die, or I'm sorry, the liner die, the A2 envelope die works. I saw the word liner, and that's where my brain went. All right, so I've already gone ahead and cut all the pieces. On the back of the envelope die, we show you what you need. All right, this is the liner. So we show you what you need. We've got this large die number one, right? And then two and three. So those are like your ends. So you need one of the main die, which is the back, and then two of each of the flaps. So I've got two small flaps and two large flaps. And then we show you how they go together. And then on the back, and you, you can use, you know, just your regular size die cutting machine with these. 
Um, and then for the liner die, we show you on the back, it works with the A2 envelope die, which I already showed you, sold separately. Here's what your liner die is going to cut, and then it goes into the center of it, just like so. And that's what I have here. Now, I will show you something here, because this is actually longer than six inches, but the paper I had was six inches. So when I cut it, I didn't, I didn't worry about the end of it. <laughs> I used a six inch piece of paper and the end that goes on the inside, I decided I could short that a little bit. If you look here, that goes on the, that's the bottom part that goes on the inside of the envelope. And I thought, well, I can short that. I'm not gonna worry about it. I wanted to use it with a six by six piece of paper. So that's what I decided to do. So when you cut this, you're gonna see on, let's go into camera three, Alan, so everybody can see this close up. You can see on here that these have your little score lines here. So here's the bone folder. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and fold and score these. This one I've already done. Hmm. What? Someone's asking will the liner die work for the A2 box envelope? Um, hmm. You know what? Why don't you give me that box envelope over there? Where is it? It's right here on the on the counter right here. Let me see if that'll fit. Let me see it, it's right there. I don't know if it will, because I think it's a different shape. So here's the envelope that I have, or the box, and then here's this piece. I think it's a slight, it's a different shape. Well, actually, it's not bad. You could use it, it's not terrible. It doesn't have that point that the box um, has, but if you wanted to do that, you could, absolutely. It would just be, you know, you just don't have that point on the, the envel A2 envelope die, it, it's like a blunt cut there. So it works on the long side? But, yeah, it would work on the long side. Not perfect, but it would definitely work. So that's an excellent question. I can't believe you didn't think of that. You can't believe I didn't think of that? Yeah. You're so great, honey. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on here as soon as I can find my tape gun again. I'm out of practice. I don't know where all my stuff is. And I'm just going to start putting this together. I like to fold it over and then lay it right up toward that edge. Make sure that's good. And then press that down. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead, oopsie, this will also have that score line, this is your liner, I'm going to go ahead and get my liner in here ahead of time, I'm going to just do adhesive right along the edge and along the back of it, you can do whichever side you want, but I like to do just one side at a time for this. Lay that up in there and make sure it's centered. Try and get it centered. I just put it down and I'm not sure it's centered, but I think it's good enough. There we go. All right, and so now I can go ahead and put the tape on here. Lay that out so that is my, my liner. And now that I've done that, I'm thinking I shouldn't have done that first <laughs> <laughs> because I forgot to put these pieces yeah. underneath there. Do they have to go under? Yeah, it should go under. It, it'll still fit under. It's just not going to, it's not going to be as nice. I should have laid that down first, but I'm going to get that liner in there. Sometimes when you're doing it live, you make little boo-boos, right? At least my tape isn't all the way at the edge. So let me go ahead and slide this in here. It'll still work. This is what happens when you do something wrong. Let me lift that up a little bit. I just gotta lift it up a little bit. It's not a big deal. It's just had to be careful because the tape is so strong and I don't wanna tear anything. So it's still gonna work. But I should have laid that down first. Definitely should have put that down first. There we go. So there's the one. Make sure I've got, yeah, I've got the space there. That's good. 
Put your edges down first, everybody. Just slide that under there. Of course, you know what? Let's just pretend that I did this on purpose so I could show you how to fix it. But this is really the reality of me working in the studio. I mess things up and then I got to figure out how to fix it. Seriously, it's just how I craft. Ah, move that over. Erg! I didn't slide it over far enough. Slide it over. Oh my goodness, everybody. Come on. I did this on purpose to show you what not to do, right? Let's go with that. <laughs> Line that up. Linnea's going, come on, Ange. Linnea could have had this done 10 minutes ago. Linnea, yeah, this is, this is the one, two, three of how, you, how not to do it. There we go. Gosh. <laughs> you make mistakes, you move on. All right. And here's the other edge. Two hands. There we go. All right. Now I can go like this, lay that down. And so I need some adhesive here and adhesive here. Let me get my corners. There we go. 45 minutes later, <laughs> we have <laughs> my three minute envelope. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. It's a beautiful set. Isn't that pretty? <coughs> Could do multiples of those. That is nice. Though. And so all of the colors that I decided to use in my cards, I grabbed from the colors that are in that paper. And I think it's just so pretty. And it really is a fast envelope to put together as long as you don't make the mistakes that I made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, isn't that pretty? <laughs> what a beautiful set. I just think it's so pretty. Oops, let me make sure I get that tape down there good. All right, yeah, I just think it's really pretty. So you can see it will fit in there absolutely beautifully. Look at how gorgeous. All right, so pretty. I'm not gonna try and do that right now. I'm gonna end up ripping it apart because my brain isn't functioning. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm like, uh, I'm scattered. Okay. All right, everybody. We ready? Fluffed and ready. We're fluffed and ready. All right, there we go. I don't know what the fluff is. <laughs> I think he's, he says that because, like, when I'm looking down and my hair falls in my face, and so before we go to camera, I just kind of move my hair back away from my face, and he's like, are we fluffed? Nope. What? Got in your picture, I'm sorry. You did what? I... <laughs> oh, you got in the camera? A little bit. That's okay. All right, everybody, here's our pretty envelope set with our card and everything. Yay, it's so pretty. I just love these. I think they just, uh, I think they turned out really nice. Let's see, we got all three of them here. Let's see if we can get, there we go. <laughs> oh, my hair, what is happening? Ugh. All right, let's try it again. Picture for the camera. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Shall we do a giveaway? What do you think? <coughs> I, I think Lisa Mazalowski wants you to do a giveaway. Lisa Mazalowski wants to win something? Yeah. What does she want to win? Did she tell you? She didn't say. Oh, what can we do for a giveaway today? You know what? Why don't we do the envelope die? Okay. Oh! <laughs> We're going to do an envelope die as the giveaway. So Lisa Masalowski, you have won the A2 envelope die. Yay! <laughs> Very exciting. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, thank you for being patient with me while I fix everything I messed up. I truly appreciate it. 
What Thank you for staying with us an extra six minutes because I messed everything up and had to fix everything. What? How should Lisa contact me? Oh, how should Lisa <laughs> contact me? <laughs> okay, Lisa, in case you were wondering how to contact us. Please send us your name and your mailing address. I'm so out of practice. Your name, complete name, mailing address, send it to uh, customer service at ldrscreative.com and we will get your A2 envelope die shipped out to you right away. Yay! Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got to get it together. All right, everybody. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thanks for staying with me while I messed apparently another thing up. Um, we will be back next week. I don't know what I'm going to work with, but I think it's going to be fall related. Why are you looking like that? I'm are we back next week? We're back next week, right? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, we're back next week. Okay. It's going to be fall related. I think I might actually work with the new thankful die. I think that's what I might do. Like <coughs> huh? Like yes, with the stamp and the die, if you can remember to bring me a stamp from, from the warehouse. But anyway, all right, while well, Alan and I discuss all of this, um, I'm going to sign off. So, everybody, again, thanks for being here. We'll see you next week. Have a fantastic rest of your night, an amazing weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>